Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Hey tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to do an update on the whole Pissy Pied Piper situation. I know y'all haven't seen that Pissy Pied Piper video in years, but I decided to bring back some nostalgia. So if you guys do not know, um, I've been saying this from day one, that although um, I feel like R. Kelly is definitely guilty, he's disgusting for a lot of things that he's put the real victims through, right? Because I've always told you, for me, there's two sets of victims. You have real victims like the R. Kelly hair braider who was assaulted and went through all of that stuff. And then you had these attention seeking whores like Faith Rogers and other people, you know what I'm saying, who jumped in the R. Kelly train knowing who he was. They were there for the money and the breast implants and all that foolishness. As soon as the money train ran dry, them hoes jumped ship, okay? So for me, there's always been two sets of victims. And this new post proves that. In new court documents that were leaked online, it shows that one of the mothers coached her 17-year-old daughter on how to seduce R. Kelly and have his babies. So this is a really disturbing situation, what I've been saying for a long time. Yes, R. Kelly, the pissy pie piper, definitely needs to be locked up. But why are some of these parents not locked up right alongside him? A lot of them knew that their minor daughters were going to go see R. Kelly. Some of them gave their minor daughters to R. Kelly, okay? So they knew what it was. They felt like, whatever I can do to make my child famous, you know, whatever I can do to get myself a bag, that's what I'm going to do. So let me read to you this court document here. So it says here that um, R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in federal prison. He was convicted on nine federal charges, including sex crimes and human trafficking. Federal prosecutors have recommended no less than 25 years in prison for the disgraced singer. Prosecutors brought in dozens of witnesses to the stand countering those claims. Some said R. Kelly had managers, bodyguards, and assistants who rounded up his potential victims before the singer groomed them for unwanted sex, amongst all things. So here goes some of the court document. This was a text message that was um, here in the court records from 2015 from a victim. Jane and her mother were in constant communication before the defendant's show. Jane's mother instructed her about what to wear and made suggestions about how she should behave at the defendant's show. I would blow him a little kiss and wink at him and bite the tip of my finger, mess with him real good, do something seductive, and make a silly little face, LOL. Jane and her mother continued to text throughout the defendant's performance. At one point, Jane and her mother exchanged the following text messages. Jane, he's singing the whole show to me. Mom, LOL, too funny. Jane, for real. Mom, laugh my ass off. Jane, this man is in love. Mom, oh my God, you're going to marry him and have his babies. LOL, my son-in-law going to be older than me. Mom, too dang funny. Jane, laugh my ass off. Well, you better get signed first, then married second. Then the mom says, he's going to seduce you tonight. The girl goes, LOL. The mom says, you have to give him a massage before he goes to bed. The girl says, laugh my ass off. No, I doubt it. The mom says, girl, you better or he will get someone else to. Then they go on to say, Jane's mom continued to encourage her to, to seduce the defendant at one point. Jane told her mom that she caught feelings for the defendant. According to Jane, she and the defendant had sexual intercourse for the first time after the concert. At no point during her travels with the defendant in California on April, in April and May of 2015, did Jane disclose that she was 17 years of age and she had lied to him about her age. After the trip to California, Jane traveled to meet the defendant in Las Vegas where he was performing. No rational juror could conclude that the defendant enticed, persuaded, induced, or coerced Jane to travel to California. Jane's conversations with her mother show that the defendant invited Jane to join him and she excitedly accepted. When her mother asked her when he asked her to travel, Jane told the mother, whenever I tell him I can, tomorrow if I choose. 
By her own admission, Jane chose to travel to, with the defendant because she wanted to and her mother encouraged her. While this court concludes that Jane's parents' testimony was not relevant for the purpose the defense counsel sought to introduce it, Jane's text messages with her mother introduced as the government's and then it gets cut off. So again, like I've said from day one, a lot of these disgusting parents were very complicit. Even K. Michelle said at one point in time, you know, I get that R. Kelly, you know, has his issues and he's done a lot of things. But what about the parents who are also there at the house with the daughters who knew what R. Kelly was about, who brought their daughters to R. Kelly's home? You know, I feel like a lot of people used him as a scapegoat because, again, he wasn't going to the mall collecting these numbers by himself. He wasn't walking up to people in public because that would be too obvious. He had bodyguards doing it. He had mm, London on the tracks mama doing it. Okay, y'all not ready for that conversation. He had a lot of people on payroll, you know, doing a lot of stuff. Even that old ass man who done wrote a book, he's the one who went and got that fake birth certificate for Leah. So there were so many adults complicit in this case that he should not be the only one locked up. This mother is disgusting. And people need to understand that there are parents who are really like this. You know what I mean? They live vicariously through their children and they feel like, well, damn, you know, I'm not a looker. I'm older now. I don't have a bunch of kids and my daughter's fly. You know what I'm saying? She's young, you know, so let me go ahead and try and pimp her out, especially when they know that is the weakness for perverts like R. Kelly and many others, not only in the industry, but in this world, you know, who like young girls like that. And you have some mothers who will encourage their daughters at young ages to get with, you know, the the local dope boy who's way older than her because that dope boy got money and he can take care of not only the daughter, but the mother as well. See, again, it's all about the financial benefit. If R. Kelly was broke ass Roger Kelly and he was a fry cook at Bojangles, she wouldn't have pushed her daughter to holler at shit. It's because he's R. Kelly, he has a name, he had status, he had fame, and he had money at the time. So people make an exception depending on what that man's bank account looks like, okay? I mean, we've seen that with Diddy and a lot of the young girls that he talks to. And, of course, they're all of age, so don't get me wrong. But, like I said, Diddy's as old as Steve Harvey, but they were all on a double date with Lori Harvey. When Lori Harvey, at one point, was dating Diddy's son. But that was okay because it was Diddy because of his money, power, prestige. Let that have been P. Fry Cook. He wouldn't have been able to get anywhere near Lori. So people will make exceptions. People will look the other way depending on a man's status. And that's what a lot of these parents did. A lot of these parents were on board. Um, Joycelyn's parents had no problem with Joycelyn dating R. Kelly. You know, the father was also trying to get his career popping as well. Cause him, his daughter and Joycelyn's sister, we all know she's the rapper. Um, you know, they were all really musically talented. And when he realized that, no, R. Kelly's just fucking my daughter and taking care of my daughter solely. That is when Tim Savage started getting his feelings. Also, let's not forget that Azrael Cleary's father, Angelo, um, he was also trying to get R. Kelly to fund his sex tour line. He had came out with these musical dildos that as you're, I guess, sleeping with these dildos, they fuck you to the sound of music. I don't know, child, but he was trying to get R. Kelly to fund it, and R. Kelly was not interested in that shit. He just wanted to basically smash his underage daughter, and then at that point, that's when Angelo got mad. So this entire situation is a hot mess. I think a lot of these parents were a lot more involved than what they're leading on to believe. So now here goes the update on Joycelyn. If you guys do not know, Joycelyn Savage is currently engaged to R. Kelly. So this is what's being reported. In new court documents initially published by All Hip Hop shows that Joycelyn Savage is now engaged to R. Kelly. According to reports, the two planned on getting married while R. Kelly sits in a federal prison. Joycelyn filed a letter to the judge pleading for leniency for her new fiancé, R. Kelly, ahead of his sentencing last week. R. Kelly was convicted of racketeering and eight counts of violating the Mann Act in September 2020. Many of those charges centered around allegations made by, made by Joycelyn's parents against Joycelyn herself. The R&B singer was sentenced to 30 years in prison in Brooklyn last week. But in a letter to Judge Ann Donnelly, Joycelyn appeared to challenge the testimony of her accusers. My relationship with Robert is amazing, she wrote. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me. We have a very special connection and are deeply in love. I still support Robert to this day because I love him and will always be here to support him. Robert is not the monster that the government has described him to be. 
The Robert I know is very sweet, gentle, and kind. At the end of the day, he has always made sure that I was taken care of and any woman he was with as well. He's very determined and focused on his goals and the things that have been said about him. With me and other women being held against our will is absolutely untrue, she wrote. It's the complete opposite of who he is in my relationship with Robert. Her parents ended up speaking out once they heard about this, and Jocelyn's parents are once again claiming that the 26-year-old grown woman has been brainwashed by R. Kelly. Um, She denied that she's being manipulated, and she says that Robert and I are deeply in love, and it breaks my heart that the government has created a narrative that I'm a victim, she wrote. I'm a grown woman. I can speak for myself, which is why I wanted to provide this letter to the court. I respectfully ask that the court take my words into consideration when sentencing Robert. He is a great man with a great heart and deserves to be home with his loved ones who are ready to support him. R. Kelly initially met Joycelyn Savage at one of his concerts back in 2015. R. Kelly promised to begin pursuing a musical career. After hearing his guarantees, she dropped out of college and moved in with R. Kelly on separate charges brought by the federal prosecutors in Brooklyn and Chicago. Kelly was convicted on human trafficking charges. So Joycelyn's letter basically did not help. They still sentenced him 30 years in prison. But it just goes to show you that this situation, the rabbit hole definitely goes deep with this. Um, Not only is Joycelyn preparing to marry him, but, you know, there's evidence showing that there were parents who were literally ready to pimp their children out to R. Kelly for the benefit of themselves. This woman did not mind that her 17-year-old daughter not only get with R. Kelly, but she was ready to be, you know what I'm saying, the mother-in-law. She was ready to be a grandmother. It's insane. You know, and it's sad, but that's the world that we live in. You know, I think Joycelyn, at this point in time, you two need to jump ship. Everybody else has jumped ship. R. Kelly is going to do all of those 30 years because this is a federal case. On top of that, you are 26 years old. You're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You have other talents besides being one of the girls in his haram. I don't think she needs to be engaged to him. I think this is another manipulation tactic on R. Kelly's part. I think at this point in time, you need to break away from him and go find somebody who's going to love you for you and love you on the outside. Okay? Because what you don't want to happen is 30 years from now, what you sitting here waiting on him and doing conjugal visits and all that weird shit, is that you look back on your life and you look back on your 20s and your 30s and everything has been wasted away dealing with this man. This man is not innocent by any means. If you guys really go through the trial records and you really dig through what the real victims, not the attention whores, but what the real victims went through, R. Kelly is one of the worst of the worst. So I do feel bad that this girl is still so attached to him to the point now where she's engaged to this man. Like, this is just insane to me. She needs to let this go because this man is not getting out no time soon. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning R. Kelly and these new revelations coming out that we've been talking about. How do you guys feel about that mother and her text message to her daughter? How do you feel about Joycelyn um, preparing to marry R. Kelly? Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you share the video. And most importantly, make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. Because y'all know YouTube loves to unsubscribe people. Okay, honey? So thank y'all so much for checking out this video. And I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.